Așteaptă-te, române, din somnul cel de moarte, în care te adânciră barbarii de tiran, barbarii de tiran. Acum, Să dăm dovezi în lume Că-n aste mâi mai curge Un sânge de roman Un sânge de roman Și că-n a noastre piepturi There are some countries without which the world would have a completely different face than the one we know today. I mean, we can all imagine how the world would be without the USA, Great Britain, or Italy. A world without hamburgers, corporations, the UN, tea-based rituals, big clocks named Ben, pizza, pasta, romantic songs, and why not, picturesque mob movies. The list could go on forever, but we have just one question. How many of you have tried to think of a world without Romania? For those of you who haven't, take a good look onward. To begin with, try to imagine writing your entire life with only a pencil. Not so convenient, is it? In case you didn't know, and we're sure you didn't, the fountain pen was invented by a Romanian professor named Petrache Poinaru. His invention was patented by the French government in May 1827. Dr. Stefan Odobleja, another illustrious Romanian scientist, is renowned as the father of cybernetics. Practically, he's the inventor of modern cybernetics, and the first to state that cybernetics originates in psychology. Nicolae Paulescu, a Romanian physiologist, invented insulin. A very controversial invention initially, and very much disregarded. Only 50 years later, after two Canadians received a Nobel for the same invention, was Nikolai Paulescu's precedence finally recognized, and he was rightfully acknowledged as the true inventor of insulin. As in the 20th century, time was the key word for solving anything. The jet plane invented by Henry Kwanda was one of the most revolutionary inventions ever. Without him, the jet plane would probably have been invented much later. Without a Romanian gymnast, the computers wouldn't have had the possibility to learn to display a perfect 10. Nadia Comaneci got the first 10 in the history of gymnastics in Montreal, 1976. Imagine Bram Stoker trying to find a count in order to write his bestseller, and Hollywood craving for a vampire to put him on the big screen. So they would all have to thank Vlad Tepes, the Romanian medieval ruler who had the bad luck of becoming the bloodthirsty demon of modern times. Probably a long time would have passed until someone may have thought of writing a complete history of religions. Mircea Eliade was the first in the world to do it. All around the world, nobody would have thought of mocking a serious matter like death. <laughs> Natively creative, the Romanians have their own way of dealing with it by laughing in its face. We are the first nation to have a happy graveyard, renowned for its storytelling funeral plates. Unless UEFA had approved a one meter wide goal, nobody would have been able to defend four penalty strikes in a row. This performance by Romanian goalkeeper Helmut Ducadam granted Stau Bucharest the Champions Cup in 1986. Hey, Mr. Bill Gates, we want to congratulate you for being the richest man in the world. <laughs> but let's put it this way, you owe us big time. Money. Money makes the world go around the world. The second spoken language in your company is Romanian. Repeat after me, Multimesc. Thank you, that is. But let's move on to other gates, more pleasant ones this time. The gates in Maramurish are unique in the world for their architecture, so take a glimpse. Fellas, it's time to get serious and talk about women. 
And take our word for it, we have the most beautiful on God's green earth. Frankly, without trying to offend anyone, we can't for one second imagine a world without our wonderful women. Sorry. If we're good at one thing, it's having a good time. Gastronomically speaking, we are the proud